This is the original stomp rocket. And although it might look pretty simple, there's actually some pretty scientific stuff going on here. Things like trajectory, force, and acceleration. And with the help of Abigail and Keona, we're gonna figure out exactly what makes this rocket so fun to blast off. Today we're gonna to make some predictions and conclusions about what's going on when your foot stomps on the rocket and how that makes the rocket fly into the air. But before we do that, I wanna talk about force and acceleration. Two things that will make this rocket blast off the ground. Have you ever pushed something or pulled something? Awesome, then you are applying force. Force is any push or pull action, like when you pull someone back or push them on a swing. You're exerting force. Have you ever been walking, then start running? Awesome! You're applying acceleration. Acceleration is when an object moves faster. Like when a car is stopped, then it drives. It's accelerating. Launching this rocket will require both force and acceleration. Let's take a look. Now this is an air-powered toy rocket, which means it can only fly by stomping down on this launch pad. The launch pad acts like a bubble of air. When you stomp on that bubble, it forces the air inside to travel through the tube into the rocket, and the rocket takes off. But how does the stomping force affect the rocket's flight? Let's take a look. With the tube facing straight up, let's see what different ways we can stomp on it to make it launch as high as we can. First we'll try light stomps, and then we'll try hard stomps. Which one do you think will make the rocket fly the highest? Let's stomp and find out! All right, Abigail is going to do our first kid-powered launch. She's going to stomp down on the launch pad lightly, applying only a little bit of force. Let's launch. Ready? Three, two, one, stomp! As you can see, with little force applied, the rocket does not go very high or fast. Keona is gonna do our next launch. He's gonna stomp down on the launch pad as hard as he can, applying a massive amount of force. Let's launch. Ready? Ready. Three, two, one, launch! As you can see, with a greater amount of force applied, the rocket went higher and faster. The lighter we stomp, the slower the rocket will accelerate. The harder we stomp, the faster the rocket will accelerate. Now it's my turn. <laughs> Launch speed increases as the force increases. Since Kiona stomped with greater force than me, his rocket accelerated faster and flew higher. I got beat by a 12-year-old boy. Good job, Kiona. I need to go work out and become stronger like you so I can apply more force. Now, what do you think will happen if we tilt the rocket launcher at an angle? Before we find out, I want to talk to you about trajectory, something that will make this rocket travel through the air. Have you ever looked up in the sky and seen white streaks coming out of a plane? Those are called jet streams. The jet streams make a nice drawing for us in the sky of where the plane has been. It's trajectory. Like when you throw a ball or when you jump. It's the imaginary line that the object travels through the air. Now for this experiment, Abigail is going to be stepping off a small step stool onto the launch pad to make sure we're applying the same stomping force. Our goal is to find out which angle will make the rocket go the farthest. Angles one, two, and three all have different trajectories. We'll begin with angle one. All set here. All set here too. All right, let's launch. Ready? Three, two, one, stomp. With each launch, we're adjusting the launch angle and measuring how far the rocket shoots. All right, guys, I got our final results. But what do you guys think? Which angle made the rocket go the farthest? Angle one was 90 degrees and traveled 95 inches. Angle two was 75 degrees and traveled 266 inches. Angle three was 45 degrees and traveled 336 inches. Making launch angle three our winner. With the longest trajectory and traveling more than three times the distance of angle one. That was a blast! Let's regroup and see our final results. 
After collecting the data on our launches today, what conclusions can we make on how to make this rocket really blast off? If you want to pause this video to share your conclusions, now's a good time. First, if we want our rockets to travel faster, we need to stomp harder. A greater stomping force results in the air accelerating faster. Second, if you want your rocket to launch farther, you need to angle the rocket launcher more. A greater angle results in a farther trajectory. From those two conclusions, we can also make an assumption that if we stomp harder and tilt the angle of the launcher, then the rocket should travel even farther. What do you think? This is something you should try at home or at school. Try stomping as hard as you can with the rocket angled and see how far you can make it fly. And make sure to record your results. Wow, who knew there could be so much science behind stomp rockets? I'm a genius at having fun. Yeah, and thanks for joining us on our experiments today. Have fun with your own experiments and safe stomping.